Hi, we're at the Combine Naval Events 2025 in Farnborough, UK, and I am very pleased now to meet with uh, Captain Johan. Captain Johan is in charge of uh, naval air programs uh, at the French Navy uh, headquarters. Captain, good morning. Thanks for your time to answer a few of my uh, questions. Good morning. It's a pleasure. So you're in charge of uh, current and future uh, naval air programs with the French Navy, from uh, small tactical UAVs up to uh, large uh, maritime patrol aircraft. In terms of uh, UAVs, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the French Navy is currently uh, well managing in terms of programs and looking at for the future? Um, so far, we have equipped uh, our ships with tactical drones, like uh, our mini drone systems on board the uh, small frigates, small patrol vessels. And at the same time, on the LHD, we have uh, three systems of S100, uh, well-known uh, system developed by the uh, Schiebel industry. And uh, we are using this to increase the, the range of detection and classification of um, contact again by the ships uh, that's the first step of course and uh, but it's regarding the s100 is an, an intermediate um, uh, project uh, but because we are waiting for the new system uh, this system should be should equip our ships in two or three years and uh, but we are still working with airbus and all on and other uh, procurement uh, industry to select the, the good uh, tactical VTOL uh, on board our frigate. The aim uh, given by our previous uh, chief of staff is very simple, is big uh, drones on frigates and big ships and small drones, tactical drones on little ships. That's the objective, one road per ship. In terms of uh, larger uh, UAVs, uh, is there also a roadmap? Are you looking at uh, large uh, UAVs for maritime surveillance or maritime patrol missions? Yes, yes, because we, um, we work on the complementary between a man aircraft, our surveillance aircraft, the future one is the Albatros, the replacement of Falcon uh, 50. Uh, but in order to be more efficient, we expect to increase the time, the resilience, the persistence of maritime surveillance with uh, large endurance and large uh, range, long range uh, drones. So far we are working with the Euromal, uh, with the French Air and Space Force, uh, with the Euro drone of course, but we are looking at the same time for a small one in order to be able to conduct um, maybe directly uh, from uh, uh, the NAS of Lenbyway near Lorient, uh, surveillance operation. You previously mentioned uh, the S100 on uh, board the uh, Mistral class LHDs of the French Navy. Uh, the French Navy recently conducted a well, high profile exercise named uh, Dragon Fury, where I believe they used uh, one LHD as some kind of mothership for UXVs or so underwater, on the surface, and in the air drones. Uh, in this, the, the goal of the exercise was to support amphibious operations. Uh, can you briefly tell us more about this exercise? Um, Dragon Ferry was uh, conducted uh, in order to test UAVs, but also USVs and UUVs in a combat environment for a win-win process. The objective is to test some drones provided by industries, uh, by partners, uh, in a combat environment uh, to uh, select or to find some uh, technological advancement in order to be sure we will work on the good drones in the future. And at the same time, for the industry, is um, um, it's a good opportunity to test their system in a combat environment to become combat proven, let's say, and to uh, to uh, think on the future, how they could improve the efficiency of their drone in the maritime, the very specific uh, environment. Uh, now let's move to uh, crude uh, platforms, because uh, uh, you're not just working on uh, UAVs, but also uh, good old-fashioned uh, fighter jets and maritime patrol aircraft. Uh, first, the Rafale, 
so you're working on future standards as well. Uh, right now, I believe you're rolling out or soon rolling out the F4. In the future, we'll have a standard F5. Uh, what are the difference with these compared to legacy Rafael Marine? So far, standard from F1 to F4, it's not the same aircraft. We improve the capability of the aircraft at each standard. That, that, that's a point that, that's very clear. But the difference between the F4 and the F5 is huge. It's a new aircraft. Uh, it's all, it will be also always a Rafale, but the system, the combat cloud, the sensors, the weapons they will deliver uh, makes a new aircraft at, uh, from, from scratch, let's say. It's, uh, it's very important to, to say that the F5 is not a new generation because we are working at the same time as a new generation aircraft system, but we will have a huge uh, difference between the Rafale F4 and the Rafale F5 regarding sensors and uh, weapons and uh, the integration of collaborative combat and so on and so on.